You have every right to be concerned when you see oil leaking from your exhaust. You can tell something is wrong because motor oil is not supposed to exit the exhaust pipes. Maintaining the condition of your car depends on attempting to identify the issue and address it before further harm is caused. In this video, we go over the main causes of oil in the exhaust. We also demonstrate how to identify and resolve this issue. Bad turbocharger. Oil from a malfunctioning turbocharger may enter the exhaust system. This oil burns off most of the time, so the smoke that emerges should mostly be black or blue. Along with poor acceleration and increased fuel consumption, a malfunctioning turbocharger can also result in a check engine light. Additionally, the engine produces a distinctive siren sound due to the malfunctioning turbo. Bad valve seals. To prevent oil from escaping the cylinders and entering the crankcase, valve seals are required. Because the exhaust contains oil, blue smoke will come from it if the valve seals are damaged. Additionally, poor fuel economy and oil-coated spark plugs are caused by this issue. Additionally, there will be poor acceleration and harsh idling. Bad piston rings. The seal between the piston and the combustion chamber is harmed if a piston ring is defective. To prevent oil from entering the chamber, these rings are necessary. They must also continue to apply the proper amount of pressure. When an engine is running, especially when it is under load, an oil leak can occur due to a damaged piston ring. Oil pushes through the exhaust port due to increased pressure, which not only damages the engine but also poses a fire risk. Cracked block or head. Oil may leak out of the exhaust if there is a crack in the cylinder head or block. The oil can escape because of the crack. After combining with exhaust fumes, it emits blue smoke from the exhaust. A block or cylinder head crack can seriously harm an engine if left unchecked. It might need to have its engine replaced in certain situations. Clogged PCV valve. Exhaust gases and any unburned fuel from the engine are released by the positive crankcase ventilation valve, also known as the PCV valve. The accumulation of gas volume and the resulting high pressure occur when this valve clogs. Blue smoke usually occurs when oil leaks from the exhaust due to PCV. Spark plugs covered in oil may also be observed. Blown head gasket. The seal required between the engine heads and the block is the head gasket. Fluids may leak past the seal when the head gasket blows and combine with the exhaust. You will notice oil coming from the exhaust when it ends up somewhere it shouldn't. As it keeps leaking, you might also notice a drop in the oil level. An engine that overheats is another symptom of a blown head gasket. It may also result in decreased performance and inefficient fuel use. Damage pistons. The linear force required to turn the crankshaft must be provided by the engine piston. Before ignition, the air-fuel mixture must be compressed, which also requires pistons. Oil seeps through malfunctioning pistons and enters the combustion chamber. Blue smoke will be released from the exhaust as the oil burns along with the air-fuel mixture. There will be more emissions and there may be engine damage. How to fix. Immediately acting upon the discovery of oil leaking from the exhaust is crucial. If they haven't already, major issues could arise if they are not addressed. Remove the oil cap to begin the diagnostic procedure. With the engine running, remove the oil cap with caution. Be very careful as hot oil can spray. The amount of pressure coming from the crankcase is what you are after. A tiny quantity of air should escape the filler cap of a normally operating motor due to pressure. There might be additional problems, like a clogged PCV valve, if the air blowing out is excessive or smells like fuel. Piston ring wear could also be indicated by it. We refer to this phenomenon as engine blow-by. Clean PCV valve. Often the intake manifold is where you'll find the PCV valve. With the hose still attached, you can remove it from the valve cover. To check if it suctions, place your finger over the exposed end. If yes, then the valve is operating as it should. If it isn't sucking, clean it. Check turbocharger. The turbocharger can be inspected in a few ways. The simplest method is to visually check for evidence of oil leaks on the turbocharger impeller. This is something you should do for the intake and exhaust impellers. To check if the intercooler is filled with oil, you can also remove the hose from it. Additionally, you should feel the impellers play and check the intake and exhaust impellers for any external damage that might point to a failed turbocharger bearing and an oil leak. Make a leak down test. It does require a little more time and specialized equipment to perform an engine leak down test. Still, the findings will aid in the diagnosis of the issue. Contact a professional. Paying a mechanic for assistance is something to think about if you've had problems identifying the problem or lack the necessary tools. 